at the Army 2024 exhibition. The Russian military showcased its latest innovation in unmanned ground vehicles, the Impulse KPTM. This advanced UGV is designed for automated mine laying operations, a capability that enhances battlefield readiness while reducing the risks to human operators. As warfare increasingly shifts towards the integration of automated and remote control systems, the Impulse KPTM represents a significant leap forward in mine laying deployment technology. The Impulse KPTM is equipped with 30 large barriers that can accommodate various mine dispensers, allowing it to rapidly deploy up to 120 anti-tank and anti-personnel mines at once. This enables the vehicle to create versatile mine fields, including both defensive and offensive configurations, in a short period of time. The dispensers compatible with the system include the KPOM-3, KPTM-3, and KPTM-4, each offering specific capabilities that address different battlefield requirements. The vehicle's operational flexibility is further enhanced by its ability to tow vehicles and trailers, which could serve in mine deployment operations or for logistic support. This feature underscores the Impulse KPTM's potential to act as a multifunctional platform beyond its core mile-laying mission. Despite its relatively modest speed of 10 km per hour, the Impulse KPTM is built for traversing rough terrain. It can climb slopes with gradients of up to 25 degrees and handle a maximum roll angle of 15 degrees, making it effective in diverse environments, from urban areas to rugged countryside. The Impulse KPTM deploys mice using advanced dispensers designed to accommodate a variety of anti-personnel and anti-tank mice, offering unparalleled flexibility Key to its mine laying capability are the following mine types POM3 anti personnel mine, PTM3 anti tank mine, and PTM4 anti tank mine. The Impulse KPTM is powered by engines with a combined output of 20 kW, which gives it a 4 hour operational window ampere time to complete a range of mine laying tasks. Communication between the UGV and its operator is facilitated by a radio control channel, which has range of up to 1000 meters in open terrain. This allows the operator to receive real-time video feedback and transmit commands. For extended operations, the system can switch to an optical cable control channel allowing communication over distances of up to 20,000 meters, making it suitable for large-scale mile-laying operations in complex environments. The Impulse KPTM has undergone extensive testing, particularly in scenarios requiring precision and efficiency in mile deployment. Tests have shown the UGV's ability to deploy a wide variety of mine types in different environments, from dense forests to open fields, without requiring direct human intervention on the front lines. Initial field tests demonstrated its capability to perform in extreme weather conditions, maintaining functionality in temperatures ranging from minus 40 to plus 50 degrees Celsius. Its rocket design ensures reliable performance across a wide range of terrains, making it a versatile tool for military engineers and frontline troops. 
deployment of the impulse KPTM is currently being considered for mining operations along strategic defensive lines and high risk border regions. Its autonomous capabilities enable it to serve in conflict zones where conventional mining methods are too dangerous or inefficient. In addition to its role in laying defense mine fields, the UGV's capacity for rapid offensive mining could also play a critical role in disrupting enemy movements during fast-paced battlefield operations. As military technology continues to evolve, the role of unmanned systems like the Impulse KPTM will likely expand. The increasing emphasis on automatic warfare and battlefield efficiency positions the Impulse KPTM as a key asset for future conflicts. Its versatility in my deployment, combined with its ability to tow trailers and other vehicles, could see it adapted for roles beyond my lane, such as logistical support or reconnaissance missions in dangerous areas.